What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Six Star Driver here back with another video. And today is the day, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the day. Today is February 7th, 2022. The new entry level driver training program is in effect. So if you have not obtained your CLP prior to today, you would have to take the entry level driver training. So to do that, you want to A, go to the FMCA website. All right, it is the fmcsa.dot.dot.gov. What you do is this. You go to about the training provider registry and you click on this link over here for more information about the ELDT regulations in a training provider registry, visit this website here. When you get to this website, uh, it gives you a search engine of basically, you know, you verify your applicability. Verify it there, that's to see if you require to take the entry level program. So it basically it explains who is considered an entry level drive. It's individuals applying to obtain a class A CDL or a class B CDL for the first time. So if you don't have that CDL prior to today, you would have to get, you would have to do an entry level driver training. Or if you're trying to upgrade an existing class B CDL to a class A, you would have to take entry level driver training program. So to obtain a school bus passenger P or hazardous material endorsements for the first time, you would have to take the entry level driver training program. So what you do is go back to here. Gonna go back and we're gonna find a training provider. So you have two options. Actually, you have three options. You can do it in person, actually going to the school. You can do it online, or you can do it with a traveling provider. And guess what? We're gonna see what online looks like first. In person, we already know that you actually going to the school, physical location, take a course or whatever, and that's in class training. Nothing on the bus. Let's see Mr. Driving School. Let's show, get some more information about the. Okay, I'm gonna click on their website because since they have a website here, what is the program? Say important NJCDL training regulations. I want to read more of that. So more information here. It says entry level driving training. So beginning February 7, 2022, every student hoping to obtain your CDL must complete the ELDT training regulations. Student, students looking, looking to, wait, students looking to must have completed entry level driver training from a training provider listed on the FMCA training provider registry, which is the one I'm looking at right now. Who is required to complete the training? Number one, if a driver owes a CLP issued before February 7th, okay, no, as long as the driver obtains a CLD, CDL before the CLP expires. Okay, I'm not going to read that. Questions and answers. But basically, what they're going to do is this. For Class A, the CDL class, it's a, it's a CDL exam app. Once you have purchased a CDL program, you would have access to exclusive, you would have exclusive access to a CDL exam study app. That's all it is. It's a CDM exam study app that they're giving you. So basically something similar to all those questions and answers that I gave to you guys is what they're gonna be selling you. It's all it is. So now before you can actually go register and take the test on your own, they're going to be selling you something. So 
purchase the program. Let me see how much it costs. CDL Class A. What's the prices? Okay. Let's see what their prices are. One-on-one so -on -one training lesson. Let me see. Let's see beginner. Let's see. Okay. Let me see what they're training you. With. This course is specifically tailored for students who have little to no experience driving a CDL truck. It is recommended for beginners. Even if they have some practice with friends, family, or past jobs. It's 32 hours, 16 lessons, two road tests. Okay, guarantee. The guarantee program is available for anyone that wants as many road tests as possible. No matter how many times you need to take the test, we will be with you every single time. So there are no there there are no prices available. I would like to know what the prices are. So whatever state that you're from, you can go search training type. If you want a class A, class B, passenger, school bus, hazardous material, uh theory or you can do behind wheels you know you can search basically this registry for anything you need to get your cdls moving forward this is the way it's going to be from now you cannot go register you cannot go schedule a cdl test uh permit test you would have to take this training first which after after you take this training then you can go take the test test is going to be testing you on the same knowledge but they want you to take this training first uh the prices are not obvious yet it's still new today's the first day but i'm pretty sure it's going to be advertised or you would have to call each one of these companies and schools to get actual pricing but this is the process moving forward i'm six star driver i just wanted to share this out information with you guys because i know a lot of you are looking forward you have a lot of questions about this new rule this is what it is moving forward from now thank you guys for watching see you on the next video peace